Hey guys, so this is a quick update on what has been happening um, since I gave birth to the baby and what are the treatments that I still have to undergo. So um, basically since I've give, given birth to Kalani, I've had to run um, several tests on her to ensure that the um, chemo did not affect any vital organs um, so far all the tests that I got back are positive everything is okay um, she's growing okay eating okay and all of that um, so I'm just waiting on one more result um, to conclude that everything is perfectly fine with her um, apart from that I had I had a wonderful Christmas I get I got to spend Christmas with my older daughter and the baby. Um, um, I basically, I didn't really, I didn't do anything special, but the, just the fact that um, I had my kids around me on Christmas made this Christmas a very special Christmas for me. Because I've, I've never been um, excited about Christmas. But this Christmas was a pretty good Christmas for me. Um, New Year's, New Year's was okay as well. I didn't do anything, nothing special. Normally, I try to do um, like uh, some New Year resolution, or I take the kids out, or watch fireworks, or stuff like that. I didn't do any of that, but I had a wonderful New Year's again because my kids are or are with me and they're okay and they're safe. So last year my New Year's resolution was to um, have a closer walk with God, um, grow as a person, um, and grow my business. So that was my New Year's resolution for last year. And I must say, um, I think I, I accomplished that New Year's resolution despite um, everything that happened in 2019. You know, um, to start in 2019, I was not expecting to have um, breast cancer. I started 2019 on a very positive note, um, happy, cheerful, you know, saying, telling myself, this is the year I'm going to accomplish all that I need to accomplish. This is the year um, that um, everything is just going to fall into place. Um, unfortunately, um, 2019 was the year that I um, found out I had breast cancer so um, that was a, a donor for me but despite um, despite the diagnosis I did indeed have a closer walk with God because um, this was the year I reached out to him more than ever this was the year I, I talked to him I prayed and I asked him for his advice and I questioned um, what was happening in my life and why it was happening in my life. And this was the year he also showed me that there is no one or nothing greater than him and there's nothing um, too difficult for him to um, accomplish. Um, going to the entire um, diagnosis, um, treatment, being pregnant, all of that um, last year, it was like this heavy burden. Um, I felt like, when was this going to be over? You know, I don't think I can, I can, um, I can really go through with it. I don't think I'm going to survive this because of how I felt. Um, when it came on to pain, the different complications, the different problems, you know. But after, after, um, after going through last year, having the baby and everything, you know, I had in 2019, I know that I can basically, you know, survive anything in 2020. Because I think 2019 was the craziest year of my life. So, um, based on this year, based on last year, um, 2020, I, I know I'll 
be able to cope more you know um i'm so grateful for the 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 um calls the texts and the love and the support that so many persons friends family have shown i'm indeed grateful um just want to let everybody know that everything is okay everybody is fine Lani is getting big you know everything is okay with her basically you know all the tests that they did to ensure that the chemo didn't affect any vital organs for her has shown that everything is perfectly fine I'm just waiting on one more result and I know that will be that will be okay also new growth as you can see my hair is growing back even though I have started back the chemo treatment I am not sure if the chemo that I'm taking now um, if, the hair, if I'm gonna lose the hair again but um, it doesn't really matter because it's not like um, it's that much uh, I have that much new growth so um, it, it doesn't really matter and I can always put on a wig I have 12 more um, weeks of chemo I've done I've completed two so I basically have 10 more weeks of chemo and then um, after the chemo treatment will um, my doctors and I will talk more about on uh, more, more about the surgery and then um, radiation so basically that's where I am at this time I also know that um, going going through this illness or any other illness just being um, confined to one place sitting and thinking about it it really um, puts a strain on you on you emotionally as well so for me I really think um, I'm going to whatever I can manage I'm gonna be as active as possible so the things that um, the things that like release stress for me that's what i'm gonna focus more on this year um if you truly know me you know that i my passion is heart so whatever has to do with heart that's what i like so um being a self self um taught graphic artist i'm going to do more projects on um graphic designs um i think i'm gonna feel like I want to start painting back again and um, the jewelry making that I normally do so I'm, I'm just gonna do stuff like that to really take my mind off um, what I'll be well what I'll have to go through this year and hopefully just I'll just breeze through this year and um, at the end of this year this will all be just a memory so basically that's where I'm at for 2020 no great plans or anything um, just taking every day one step at a time that's basically what I have planned um, for <clears throat> for my business that I have back home in Jamaica um, a lot of persons have reached out to me and said um, um, they're sorry for all that I'm going through and that they're not going to be able to get any um, um, other goods. I am I'm trying to work out a few things in my head and to see if I can still um, get um, everything that I normally get to my customers back in Jamaica. So I'm still I'm still trying to work out that but um, I'm going to figure it out. I'm definitely going to figure it out. And we um going to get everything back on track um, in a few months from now. So basically, that's um, that's where I'm at health-wise. That's where I'm at um, family, with my family. And that's where I'm at with my business. I'm just um, taking the start of this year. To really reach to really um, um, like put everything in place to get everything in my life back on track so um, I want to thank everybody that has liked my video shared my video um, subscribed and 
also I'd like to thank um, persons that um, reach out to me on other social media platforms and um, I'm truly grateful. Um, persons asked me to come to um, like um, conference and speaking events for so I could hear about other persons journey, um, cancer journey. Um, I, I would like to but um, right now it's kind of um, difficult because of, I have the baby so I wouldn't I won't be able to like go like everywhere I can't really go on here to get the motivational um, um, speeches that would be um, good for me as well but um, because I have, to, I have the baby it's kind of difficult to go to some of those events 